Mr. Wolf makes a failure. I lay yo ma got company, said Uncle Remus, as the little boy entered the old man's store with a huge piece of mince pie in his hand. And if she ain't got company, then she done gone and dropped the cupboard key summers, where you done run up with it. Well, I saw the pie lying there, Uncle Remus, and I just thought I'd fetch it out to you. To be sure, honey, replied the old man, regarding the child with admiration. To be sure, honey, uh, that changes matters. Christmas doings is out of date, and, and they ain't got no business lying round loose. This year pie, Uncle Remus continued, holding it up and measuring it with an experienced eye. Well, give me a strength for the pursue on out of Brer Fox and Brer Rabbit and the other creeters what they roped in long with em. Here the old man paused and proceeded to demolish the pie, a feat accomplished in a very short time. Then he wiped the crumbs from his beard and began. Brer Fox feels so bad, and he gets so mad about Brer Rabbit that he dunno what to do, and he looked mighty downhearted. By and by, one day, whiles he was gwine along the road, old Bro Wolf came up with him. When they done howdyin' and axin' at a one another's family connection, Bro Wolf, he low he did, uh, that there was something wrong with Bro Fox. And Bro Fox, he lowed there weren't, and he went on and laugh and make great to do, cause Bro Wolf looked like he spishin' something. But Bro Wolf, he got mighty long head and he sort of broach about Brer Rabbit's carryings on, cause the way that Brer Rabbit seeved Brer Fox done got to be talk of the neighborhood. Then Brer Fox and Brer Wolf, they sort of plabbered on, they did, twill by and by Brer Wolf, he up and say that he done got plan fixed for to trap Brer Rabbit. Then Brer Fox say how. Then Brer Wolf up and tell him that the way for to get the trap on Brer Rabbit was to get him in Brer Fox house. Brer Fox done know Brer Rabbit of old, and he know that sort of game done war to a frazzle, but Brer Wolf he talk mighty sweetin'. How you gwine to get him dar? asked Brer Fox, says he. Fool him dar, says Brer Wolf, says he. Who gwine do the foolin? says Brer Fox, says he. I'll do the foolin, says Brer Wolf, says he, if you do the gamin, says he. How you gwine do it? says Brer Fox, says he. You run long home and get on to bed and make like you did, and don't you say nothing twill Brer Rabbit come and put his hands onto you, says Brer Wolf, says he. And if we don't get him for supper, Joe's dead and Sal's a widder, says he. This look like a mighty nice game, and Brer Fox greed. So then he amble off home, and Bro Wolf he march off to Bro Rabbit house. When he got dar, it looked like nobody at home, but Bro Wolf he walk up and knock on the door, blam, blam, nobody come. Then he lam a loose and knock again, blam, blam. Who there? says Bro Rabbit, says he. Friend, says Bro Wolf. Too many friends spiles the dinner, says Bro Rabbit, says he. Which un's this? says he. I fetch bad news, Brer Rabbit, says Brer Wolf, says he. Bad news is soon told, says Brer Rabbit, says he. By this time Brer Rabbit done come to the door with his head tied up in a red handkerchief. Brer Fox died this morning, says Brer Wolf, says he. Where your morning gal, Brer Wolf, says Brer Rabbit, says he. Gwine out of it now, says Brer Wolf, says he. I just called by for to bring the news. I went down to Brer Fox house a little bit go, and dar I found him stiff, says he. Then Brer Wolf lobe off. Brer Rabbit sot down and scratch his head he did, and by and by he says to hisself that he believe he sort of drop round by Brer Fox house for to see how the land lay. No sooner said and done. Up he jumped and out he went. When Brer Rabbit got close to Brer Fox house, all look lonesome. Then he went up nigh, nothing stirred. Then he look in, and dar lay Brer Fox stretch out on the bed, just as big as life. Then Brer Rabbit make like he talking to hisself. Nobody round for to look at a Brer Fox. Not even Brer Turkey Buzzard ain't come to the funeral, says he. 
I hope Bruh Fox ain't dead, but I speck he is, says he. Even down to Bro Wolf done gone and left him. It's the busy season with me, but I'll set up with him. He seems like he dead, yet he mayn't be, says Bruh Rabbit, says he. When a man go to see dead folks, dead folks allers raises up the behind leg and hollers wahoo, says he. Bruh Fox, he lay still. Then Bruh Rabbit, he talk a little louder. Mighty funny. Bruh Fox look like he dead, yet he don't do like he dead. Dead folks highest up the behind leg and hollers wahoo when a man comes to see him, says Bruh Rabbit, says he. Show sure enough. Bruh Fox lift up his foot and holler wahoo, and Bruh Rabbit, he tear out the house like the dogs was out of him. Bruh Wolf mighty smart, but next time you hear from him, honey, he'll be in trouble. You just hold your breath and wait. End of Mr. Wolf Makes a Failure